welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Steel Vision game. This is going to be between myself and Nilla. Uh, Nilla's one of the top players, probably one of the best Americans. Um, really good, the great, great at the game. I asked him to play, and he was willing to. So thank you, Nilla, for being able to play. Anyway, let's check out his deck first. We'll go quickly over it. Bring in some Fusiliers. These guys play a big part in our game. Uh, oh man, the anger I still feel days later. <laughs> Um, is that what you tab? Really strong here. Bring in the Jaeger. These are pr great cost efficient squads. Only 20 points. MG42. Pretty cheap, actually. I mean, maybe. I mean, that's actually really cheap. They have these 7 MP40, so they thrashed in the CQC, too. I mean, there's nothing wrong there. Uh, good, you know, leader squad with the Satchel. Jaeger Pioneer, Satchel. You know, more Jaeger Pioneers. He's bringing the Sturm Jaegers. These guys are awesome, too. You know, all their MP44s. Some more Jaeger. But, you know, more. Find, you know, more leaders, Sturmjäger, Jäger, and then another Sturmjäger. So, a lot of infantry, a lot of sea phase, so he's going balance. I'll be going Maverick. Uh, Tank-wise, this is very interesting. Bringing uh, two sets of double vetted. One in A and one in B, and one unvetted in B. Kind of interesting to see. Oh, he has to bring him in B. Uh, this will be a C card, definitely. Uh, probably will be bringing that later, trying to get to late game. MG42, IG33. SD the Stur 42, firing the heat rounds, 100 penetration, and big derp gun as well. Commander, MG40, you know, Panda Shrek, some light T, some. Does this have HE? Yeah, it does. Really good for the HE, actually. You know, some pack guns, can go wrong there. A, a little bit, not too much. Um, bringing some of the uh, <laughs> Nova Warfers to break up any tough spots. I like. Some off map in B, some off map in A. Plenty of aircraft, bringing the Falcon Wolves in B though. That is an interesting pick. Gets, I guess you get tons of them. Bringing these guys in A. Hmm. Very interesting. Kind of like it. Anyway, let's check out my deck. And uh, let's see how it compares. Looking at my deck, I'm playing Sturm here. I bring zero recon. Urzat shoots in. Sturm shoots in at A. But Light Pioneer is one of my favorite squads in A as well. Some leaders as well. Just normal guys with some smoke. I'm a big believer in smoke. Pioneers in B. Um, the light pot grenadier is in B as well. I thought these guys would perform a little better, but uh, I feel like they didn't um, And then also I bring some shoots in and then a shooting card in C just in case the game goes along I bring one vet in each I bring a leader as well to get them a double vet if I really wanted to MG42 double vet in A and B flamethrowers in A and some beautiful um, Ammo <laughs> for the mortars uh, We get to bring this cool unique panda truck squad. It's a six-man squad with some, you know G43s Really good squad, actually. Pack 40 is both A and B. A hash Nashorn, but pff, not that I'm really be using it. Pack 43, Martyrs, some Flak. Maybe not the most. <laughs> I kind of had this deck for more dealing with more heavy tank divisions for some reason. Maybe I should have adapted it for more. Um, yeah, 81 million mortars, Nebel Warfers, some off map in B. Two cards of fighters, both A and B. The G6 can't go wrong. Good in War Thunder, good in Steel Division. I bring one card of JU 88, 188 with two 1,000 kilogram bombs. Anyway, let's get into the match here. We did all the banning, we did all the picking as official SD rules. Um, so it's all fair. And Orsha North will be the map. Welcome back. Okay, so let's get this thing going. I'm on the right here playing my Maverick Sturm. We got Nilla here over to the left. Playing his 28th Jaeger balance, and the only thing we have to look at are these two squads. These two squads right here, guys, will make and break this game. This is some of the. I did not expect this. Look at this. He's like, he's gonna like sneak around. It's gonna be crazy. Um, down over here though, plenty of just, you know infantry. Let me say more infantry. And guess what, guys? More infantry and more infantry. Me on the other hand, my objective. I can't speak for Nil. I have no idea what he's thinking. I'm gonna rush this. I was hoping to rush this area, get into this forest, win this area pretty easily with all my elite infantry, um, and try to grab these two flags. I'm sending a huge force up here. I'm gonna lock down this flag early game, and then be done with it. And then that was my whole plan. Playing a little more passive on the southern flank, probing with forces, but not too much. I'm I'm deploying pretty heavily in center. I want to make sure these two flags don't go down. These flags are pretty vulnerable, so I want to grab them. And I'm playing two MV42s. Sending an Urzat here, two flamethrowers here. I'm trying to scout out for this as well. And let us begin. And this is a good game. Like, it's a game, it's a race against time. Can I beat Nilla in, you know, a reasonable amount of time before the balance income kicks in and messes me up? And that's the, that is the key here. Um, 
So, yeah. So you see me just roaming some storm shoots in, some leader. I have a leader coming in down here as well. This makes me angry though. I don't know. I must have misclicked. I meant the MG42 to go here. Instead, it has to walk up, but not too much. That, that made me mad right off the bat though. <laughs> see that nil and not deploying too much here at all. In fact, if I rush this area, hmm, dang. I kind of regret. I wish. Hindsight though, you can never know. I should rush this area. Like, this area is pretty lightly defended. I was kind of surprised that he didn't come down there. I mean, actually, you know, most people do push right here. What am I talking about? <clears throat> you can see I definitely have way more forces up here than Nilla does. So, unlikely for him to do, you know, win that engagement whatsoever. But he's got a lot of pioneers all over the map. Got these guys double vetted. He's got a leader too, so he's giving himself some double vetted. Problem is, infantry is so cost efficient. 20 points. My guy should dominate this area though. This is a Belight Pioneer. It's triple vetted. You can see everyone's moving up. Over here, just seeing some movement. Not too much action though going on. Urzot, I was just probing with an Urzot. Got a flamethrower in here. Nothing too much though. We're seeing the action all start out. All the MG fights. Diager squad. It's first kill, 20 points. Okay, up here we're seeing my forces coming in against Nilla's. Nilla definitely outnumbered here. Plus, I got flamethrowers, which should disrupt the uh, the pioneer throwing. Nilla's got a decent force right here, though. We do have four squads to his three. On this front, though, he does outnumber me. Look at this, the sneaky little play. These things also carry uh, grenades. Yeah, see, they're full man squad, twenty-five. They're good. They're good guys too. Two pioneers here, double vetted. Only one of my guys can throw any satchel. Good, that's a good micro by Nilla though, getting out of the way. He's one vet on his M two forty twos. I have double vets. Nothing going on too much in this area. I'm moving up though. My belights are in here. Two of my belights are in here. You do not want to fight belights. Moving up the shoots and squad here. This area we just destroy the Jaegers. He cannot compete with the lights. <clears throat> On this front, I do lose one of my st squads. Storm shooting does clean it up. I'm backing up though. I'm trying to micro heavy here, but not too much going on. Action's happening up here. Nilo backing off, trying to get out of the way, not willing to fight these guys. Just don't blame him. I'm trying to push up into this area. There's not really too much opposition. I brought two fighters, thinking that there'd be a lot of airplay right off the bat. I wanted a double of Focke Wolf. He, I know he had Focke Wolves. Probably a waste of investment. It's like 200 and, 240 points there. Like 240 points could overwhelm this front right now. Or capitalize on this. But I'm going for some strafes. Both misses. Guy goes down here. No flag go. Things some storm shoots and some Urzots. I kind of ran out of infantry in the eight minute mark, seven minute mark. Just had Urzots, it's not great. I'm gonna go in for a straight from this Jaeger Pioneer. Need a little microing out of the way, but getting spotted and actually killing himself more. That was a great play by him there. My Belites are just coming in here, grabbing some territory. Seeing some Urzots come in here. They're driving down this road, I'm moving up my shoots in. Pretty much got that area locked down. Two fires just hanging out. Got an IG-33 coming in, we're seeing some flak come in by Nilla. Good investment. I'm bringing just Urzots and Storm shoots in. Trying to push up and capitalize on these plays. Nilla playing pretty consistent though, He's, he doesn't have, I don't have the double tech. I'm trying to see his little... God, this is so annoying. I cannot believe he did this. I thought there was no way he could sneak any units behind me. I'm like, I'm pretty on the edge here. I just I guess I did not really consider this last approach. But we'll get back to that later. At the moment, I'm not too worried. I'm like, if, you know, we're five minutes in. I am up two flags. I just need one more. There's a good opportunity to grab two flags here. You're seeing, you're starting to already see it to formulate here. Storm shoots are gonna get 
killed by Sturm Jaeger. <clears throat> hmm, there goes that squad. Ring on my 88 percenter. I thought, hey, this is the area I'm going to capitalize and push. Yeah, another flat gun coming by Nilla here. But yeah, I'm just driving here. There's nothing too much. If he fires this, he gets messed up. Flat gun here. I'm going to unload. First dots coming down. I'm going to unload them. Bring up a stug too. This area. The power of the Arizot. <laughs> Ching Nil is off that plane coming here. My fighters were reloading at this point, so I couldn't get them. I really wanted to go for it, like, but I mean, it's probably ideal too. There's two AA pieces right here, and G6s don't do too well against two black 37s. These things are just rotating. Look at that. It's just so crazy that he got away with this. I bring up a mortar. Even a nice off map here on me. That's 172 millimeter. I'm backing out. I'm like, I'm out of here. I know it was coming. I'm shooting die here, unfortunately. Grab this flag. I got the double tech. So I got a flag up here, here, and here. Really easy opportunity to grab another flag here. Probably an opportunity to grab it here as well. And I was thinking, hey, maybe I can grab another flag on this location as well. At this point. Like, I thought, I kind of felt safe at this point. Like, I felt like I had the pressure on. And Nilo was kind of in a, uh, a bad spot. Bring up a leader here to help make these guys vetted. This Jaeger's gonna die. Having this spot's really key. You can shoot down all this over here too. I'm going for strafes here. I not realize at the time there was two A guns. I try rotating out. One of my guys is gonna go down immediately. It's 120 points. I do stop the Sturm Jaeger from entering the area, giving me the double tick continuing. Yeah. Oh, he does get away. Oh my god, I thought he died. Oh, that's lucky by me. That's so lucky. Bring a commander here. Stug, to come down this main road. But we got this flag here now. Giving us, you know, four flags. We got one, two, three, and then four. Bomber comes in. Good bombing run by Nilla. Takes away one of my flags, but that doesn't really change anything. I start mortaring Zay. Is there another off now coming by Nilla? I, re I was out of infantry at this point. Like, I didn't have. I just had some Merzots. And I was kind of concerned because I really needed to reinforce this area. But this. This is going to make me cry, guys. Another 81mm mortar. Get a hit on it? No. Sometimes 81 millimeter mortars are guys, and then other times it's just trash. But yeah, we're, we're, it's, this is a water break phase, guys. Anytime we're in between B and A and B, there's always like this total slowdown. They are, it's like every game, I don't know what it is. Like everybody just kind of, I mean, you kind of run out of your stuff. You're about to enter the next phase. But I mean, where I'm at, like, I am double taking him. No issue. I just lost it for a second there. But really not not too worried. Bombs miss. Off up coming in, dropping his last shot. So we're about to see a big wave attack from me now. Venture the next phase. I should be pouring more infantry into these locations. No problem. Yeah, everything just slows down all of a sudden. You might have a light gun here start coming in. Whole bunch of them. I cannot believe this squad. So it took nearly 10 minutes to walk this squad 
all the way here. And there's nothing for me to believe there's anything back here. B6 coming. I'm going straight from this MG42. MG42 is not shifting. I'm telling it to rotate at the opposite direction. <laughs> Look at that blight gun out here just for days. I thought, hey, I'm going to overrun this area now. But yeah, I mean, just he's playing super defensive. It's kind of funny because like, I usually play pretty defensive, but Nil is playing super defensive in this game, and he, he tends to be the super aggressive one. I'm dropping more shots in this position. Not being too effective, though. Black Grenadier is going to get a shot off on me. I don't think I unload in time. That's a big mistake. Ooh. We're lucky that wasn't worse. Back over here, I'm pushing hard now. But then I, I messed up. I got too close to everybody. Got blobbed like I get. And this is the this is where it gets scary. It kind of looks like right now, like I got the game. Like I don't know, like it's not good for Nilla. Having a tough time beating me in any close close quarter infantry. I blobbed up way too big right here. If I had my squads like spread out like this, I would have annihilated this engagement. Seeing Nilla bring up reinforcements here, I just get bombed to death, and I'm like, okay, okay, I'm getting bombed to death. I need to, I need to retreat these guys. They're trying to see me do it right now. I'm like, I'm gonna retreat. I can just get the guys out. I do lose two guys, but I'm rotating this guy to take his place. Say four squads. And I'm like, all right, Nate, I'm going to buy two pieces of AA. This is going to lock down this area. I have flak over here already. already. I think I have an 88 coming up. And then I have, I'm going to bring two flak guns. And this is where Nilla gets me here. I'm like, I'm putting tons of pressure up on this flag. He's grabbed the flags now, but like, I've grabbed this flag. You know, I'm about to go up here. He's dropping a couple bombs on me. Look how thin it is. He's just got some Jaegers here. He's about to do a total collapse in this location. This is good. And this is... This is so bad. I was so angry. She shoots and coming in here. Like, they're going to just annihilate this location. Right now, all the investments coming up here. These bastards. <laughs> oh my god, are they evil. Yes, they did what Recon does. Corrupting enemy lines. <laughs> So you see all these forces coming up. I have a lot of men coming up. I got pioneers, shoots in. So I'm gonna get in here. Popping smoke. Everything just feels right right now. Last bomber coming in. I think there's money worth on this bomber. And I have no visual on these guys. Zip. Lobbing up too much. I think this is where it's about to begin. I, I'm getting sick of bombed here. Like, I'm getting hit all the time by these bombers. I'm just, like, sick of it. Like, I gotta do something. Look at that. Those are two AA trucks. Those are 90 points each. There's the flak 36s. Sorry, 80 points. So he's already killed two 80 points. He's already 160 points in. Oh, it's only just beginning. I didn't realize. So I've already gone down 160 points. That's a lot of income. 
for my B phase advantage. Pioneers coming in here. I called in like four pioneers. They go down. That's four. That'll be four pioneers. He's 25 points. It's another 100 points. So we're at 260 points. Nilla is murdered. <laughs> I'll bring in a leader too, a 40 point leader. So you can round it up to 300 points. 300 points, Nate. That is, that is crazy. <laughs> I didn't think it was over because of that. I was angry. I was definitely angry. And I still don't think I've realized it yet. Because I'm microing pretty heavy up here right now. Like all these infantry squads. You can see I'm running him over up there. But he just killed 360 points. If I had 360 points down here, there would have been no problem. Oh my god. What I could have. when I start to realize and I was like god dang it dude how am I gonna get these guys out of here That's all I was thinking about these stupid anti-tank grenades I was like oh man all right I'm just gonna win this area that's what I'm gonna focus on we'll play defensive on the southern flank now like I would have been able to push here a little bit uh, but Need to unload this flak in a little quicker. You got me bombing around. I got too close. Too many blobbing. These aircraft are just annihilating me. I dropped. I had a bomber come by. He missed it, this thing. Dropped 2,000 pound bombs. Killed one of the squads. I'm gonna buy some Urzots. I'm gonna mop him up. There you go. He's dead. Clear that out, but that year to kill 300 points. 330 points because he killed two results too. That's a lot of freaking points, guys. That is so much. That just put me on the total back foot now in this location. And he can bomb me indiscriminately. But back to the game though. Still four minutes on the clock. I didn't feel too worried. Like, okay, I went down some points. I go a little negative. Whatever. I'm grabbing a flag here. I'm on the verge of it. Got two 88s now running up. I think this one may have almost run out of ammo. Yeah. I'll bring up ammo for it though in a second. No. Look. Clock's racing. He's got four minutes to win. We're not even in his face yet. So things are looking good. This was concerning though. And I wanted to make sure to keep some of these flags. Going for a strafe. Aircraft rotate the wrong way, did not mean to. I wanted them to rotate the other direction. I have my 2,000 pound bombers coming in. I'm trying to buy myself some time. That's gonna hit that squad. <laughs> Oof. So we have a lot of flags in this location. Three minutes on the clock. It's just like, hey, can we hold out? Like, you see Nilla is rushing me now. He's trying to grab flags. He just needs to sl slow for time. This thing is like moving at me. Like, nope. Fortunately, I have no recon. He's got to move his tank out. He hasn't killed it yet, so he doesn't really have an option. I think a Falk will have come in now. I'm just being, look how much infantry is here now. Totally overwhelming me. They're all like so cheap compared to mine. Storm Jaeger at 30 points, but Daggers are only 20 points. Kind of crazy cheap. Bomber comes in. Good bombing by Nilla. Crash just surrenders his flag. But. You know, two minutes in the clock. There's, I knew there was nothing here. I sent some shoots in here. I was like, I didn't want anything to break through. I'm gonna send a wave here to stem any counter push happening.
I think some flock wolves come in. I got lost both my 88 to some, I think it's IG guns, and then some overwhelming bombers. Good bombing run on my pack gun. Nils air power is really coming in right now. He's got a huge force of infantry here now. Sending some shirts in. Just trying to stem the tide. Just trying to stem the tide. That's all I need to do. Two minutes. Two minutes on the clock. But now they're playing really well. Really cost efficient throughout the other game. All these pioneers and everything. These aircraft are just getting so much out of it right now. Everything he brings just gets so much worth. IG gun, interesting. Engaging. The stug. Our range is the stug. That guy has 1500, 1750 range. IG gun has 2000 range. With what? Both? No, just, yeah. Both the HE. Look how slow that HE shot is. In, uh, in Meta War, where you call it the Death Star. Oh, man. That IG-33 seems really good. Right now, a huge gunfight going on here. I'm just trying to hold it out. I didn't realize the leader has a Panzerfaust. I was mistaken there. Okay, Neil is just at 1 minute and 40 seconds left. I'm trying to send two flags here. Neil drops another off map on me. Bringing these off maps. Clearing stuff out. Almost getting back even. I grab the flag back. Strafing. I'm not going down without a fight. I'm just moving across the open here. Nil is going to strafe everything he's got. I got my fighters flying out. You can see they're both micring so much that the fighters aren't even doing much. Get one shot down. Bomb load gets off. Pretty much suppresses that. We're one minute on the clock. Now they're just overwhelming forces by Nilla. Kitchen are coming in. There's nothing here though. That's another flag going to Nilla. This flag looks like it's about to go to Nilla. This flag's about to go to Nilla. Try bringing in my bomber. It doesn't work. That goes down the flock hole. Let's get killed by Nilla. And now he's got the. Now he's got me in a bad spot. Look how thin I am compared to him. Losing these uh, 300 points here, that's pretty brutal. There really is no recovering from that. Yeah, at this point, I, I give up. It was a good game. Miller just played clean, played pretty defensive. He did this like awesome sneaky move here. Just wiped out everything. I cannot believe that happened. That is crazy. You can look at the stats here. I mean, I lost, I mean, in the end, I lost a lot of points to all the air graph but 300 points gone already look at the chronology though like I had a really good opener like you see that guy was double ticking before we even entered B phase so god he killed 300 points though like let's go look at the losses like where did he get those where did my AA go let us look guys come on does it not even show when recon kills like with an AT grenade Whatever. Doesn't I don't even think it shows. Maybe it's in there, you guys can pause and see it, but there should be some flat guns it shows, but I guess we're not seeing them. But I mean, excellent gameplay by Nilla. Thanks Nilla to playing. Um I know you're in the middle of the league. I wish you the best of luck as well. Thanks guys for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content.